Look at this thing, man. Say something other than the word amazing. Very good. everybody today's north carolina barbecue episode of the fun Bros food is brought to you by puma and its new rs dreamer basketball shoes aka j cole's signature basketball shoe as you guys may or may not know j cole is from north carolina hence eating North Carolina barbecue. All right, so this RS Dreamer Low is actually the full-on high-performance basketball version of the RS Silhouette, and it has a suede upper, it has pro foam midsole, it has high abrasion rubber outsole, so that's great for indoor and outdoor basketball. And one thing that I personally like is this lace that goes around the shoe so that when you tighten the laces, it tightens the entire shoe around you. Honestly, this is one of the best-looking basketball shoes to come out in a very long time. You guys know Puma's been making a lot of noise lately. You you got LaMelo Ball, you got Kyle Kuzma, J. Cole, so many other players in the NBA wearing Puma right now, and I love everything about this shoe. I think that J. Cole's main mission is just to show people that you can achieve your dreams if you work hard, you focus, and he's trying to do it in a cool way to let everybody know, man, you can be a dreamer too. This Puma RS Dreamer colorway is out right now. You can buy it at this link right here in men's and kids' sizes, so check them out, guys, but we gotta get some barbecue, and we gotta meet up with Marco. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, you guys, we are joined by our New York friend, Marco. We are in front of Mighty Quinn's, which is one of the most renowned and highly regarded authentic barbecue spots in New York City. Guys, they started out of Smorgasbord out in Brooklyn, and now they have seven different locations, so you know it's popping. All right, their style here is actually a mixture between Texas and North Carolina style barbecue, which they call it Texas Lina. Now, Marco, growing up in New York City, what do you know about barbecue, Southern barbecue, anything? I'll be honest, not much. Just cause growing up there was only Dallas BBQs, nothing was really authentic, but as of recent, you have new spots like Mighty Quinn's, you have more of a, of a North Carolina, Kansas, and Texas type of barbecue spots that aren't really New York City, but they're coming here now. We're about to order everything at Mighty Quinn's. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, you guys, we're in Manhattan, New York City right now, but they did such a good job of replicating North Carolina or Texas in terms of a smokehouse. Crazy. We're here, we have everything here at Mighty Quinn's. We have the entire menu. We spent $150 plus tip, okay? I have all the sides, we have all the drinks. There are four major styles of barbecue in America. There's Carolina, Texas, Kansas, Memphis. Mighty Quinn's is a mixture between the first two. The Carolinas, both North Carolina and South Carolina, as well as Texas. So the Texas style is more low, slow black pepper rubs but then the Carolina style has more of like a sweet, spicy vinegar, tangy sauce on it. Guys, of course, the number one thing you gotta try at any barbecue spot is the brisket. Well, I can tell it's so tender already that it's so hard to actually lift with the fork. It is. You know what, we, oh got, we, all, we might all have to do caveman style. Oh, caveman. My, literally when I try to pick it up, it just falls. It, I, can't, I can't pinch it any harder or else the meat is gonna fall apart. The brisket. brisket. Wow, that's solid right there. Yeah. North Carolina barbecue focuses on always having kind of like a sweet vinegar based sauce on the side. This is good. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five. Right. Just because for me, I'm like a fatty brisket guy. Wow. And I, it could have, it was good though. I'm yeah. gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. Yo, solid. I gotta give it 3.5. 3.5 out of 5, just cause dry rub isn't my thing. I love a lot of sauce on it. Next up, one of their most signature items is the Brontosaurus rib. This is a beef rib. Trust me, pork ribs, they don't get this big. Look at this thing, man. Guys, that's when you know that it's tender cause I can cut it with a plastic knife. Wow. Um, and you know, this is Texas style low and slow. Low heat uh, in a self-contained uh, unit and that way the smoke actually cooks it. I'm sorry You're guys. Undressing it. You're undressing the brontosaurus oh. rib. Oh! It's naked. The rib is naked. Brontosaurus, brontosaurus beef, beef rib. Oh my gosh! Bro. Yo, that is mad good. Yo, Yo. straight up the brontosaurus rib. No. $35, but it was a five out of five. All right, coming up for round three guys. I'm gonna hand you your buns and we're gonna make a pulled pork sandwich of any style. So here you have the pulled pork right here. Here you have the burnt ends, which is actually beef brisket burnt ends mixed with sauce. We have fries, we have pork ribs, we have a beef brisket sausage here. I'm gonna go here, here we go, we saucing up the pulled pork Wow, right now. I'm not mad at you. Yo, I got a little ranch, I'm going oh. a whacked out pulled pork sandwich. Nah, Let's see why. Nah. pour some ranch on mine, I, yeah. I might like that. Wow, pulled, pulled pork, pork sandwich. sandwich and everything else. 
it's really, really, really this, good. I mean, this looks like an actual sandwich you can get. As far as my sandwich goes, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. Pork, pork rib. rib. And I'll be honest, I never had pork rib from like an actual uh, authentic barbecue spot because I only eat them at Chinese takeout. I can tell right now this has more of the dry rub. It's not gonna have that kind of like candy glaze that, you yeah. know, the Chinese takeout it's spots good are gonna candy have. Glaze, though. All right, guys, pork ribs. Oh my God. Mighty Quinn's is killing it. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5 too. I'm gonna give that pork rib a, a four out of five. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a five out of five because that smokiness was amazing. I never had anything like that before. Next up, we got the beef brisket sausage. As you guys know, most sausages are traditionally made with pork, but this one's only made with beef brisket. Brisket, brisket sausage. sausage, beef. That was a sleeper. That was a nice accompaniment. Very fatty. Yeah. Wow, whoa, it, it, that was good. It sort of reminded me of like a Dominican sausage for breakfast I usually get. Um, it tastes actually just like that. You guys, one of the most interesting things about filming this, you know, barbecue video has been so many people walking by and yelling out their commentary. It's uh, almost like a constant running Yelp review. Some people go, best in the city, overrated, mediocre, amazing, I love the brisket. <laughs> it's just like a running Yelp review as people walk by. Last two things, we have burnt ends, which is uh, burnt ends of the brisket. It's a little bit leaner meat, but it's soaking in barbecue sauce. And then here we have two types of wings. They're fired up fresh. We have the spicy one and the regular one. Guys, Mighty Quinn's. Burnt, burnt ends. ends. These burnt ends are, are really good. I would say the sauce makes up for the, for the actual meat in there. I'm just gonna make a quick little sandwich here with the burnt ends. Calories, because no bread, less calories. Mmm. Spicy, Spicy wings. wings. Woo, that is hot. What I liked about the wings is that they were really small but still juicy. Oftentimes, small wings, you know, they get dry. So, shout out to Mighty Quinn's. Yeah, yo, with the chicken wings, they were flavorful. Still, they had their, their, their very tenderful. That's even a word I just made up, tenderful. All right, guys, as for sides, we have baked beans. We got the sweet potato pudding, I believe. And then you have Brussels sprouts and you have broccoli salad. Barbecue, Barbecue sides. sides. Five out of five on the sweet honey walnut sweet potato bread mashup. You're gonna love it, David. Don't even say, don't say no more. Don't even talk the rest of the video. Just eat it, literally. Stay silent. I don't care. Ooh. It's a six out of five. Six out of five, he well, said it, I like that. We have corn fritters and sweet bread pudding. I am a really big fan of uh, bread pudding, obviously the yam pudding. I'm definitely gonna come back here tomorrow and get this for like dessert, Friday night dessert. You're right, David. This is amazing. Yo, I, this I is don't... amazing. Oh my God. Wait, guys, real quick. Wait, before, before we end this, it was a dream eating this today. Yeah. Was that a reach? Shout out to the Puma RS Dreamers Neon Pack out now. Check them out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching our segment here at Mighty Quinn's. I know we're not barbecue experts. We try to do our research. Hopefully you learned something. Shout out to Marco for being here. Now, to finish off our barbecue video though, we do gotta go to kind of the uh, New York staple Dallas BBQ right down the street. All right, you guys, continuing our barbecue crawl through New York City, we just came from Mighty Quinn's, which is really obviously trying to replicate an authentic Texas Carolina style, but now we gotta go to Dallas BBQ. Tell us about it, Yo, Marco. so it's not your authentic spot like Mighty Quinn's was. This is like the staple New York City unauthentic uh, barbecue spot. So you got like from Henny Wings to Caribbean influenced drinks there. It's more of just like a party almost like, you know? Good times at Dallas BBQ. Dude, could you say the food here at Dallas BBQ goes straight to the Mata? On the Zaza. <laughs> We have some food from Dallas BBQ that is very symbolic of the overall restaurant. Here you have a, just say it. We got the culotto, we got the henny, hence, henny culotto. So we're gonna pour oh, that you're sucker pour it in. down the straw. Yes. Gosh. Miami Gotta Marco. All right, you guys, we have the spread here at Dallas BBQ. This is a chain, I believe, that is native to Bronx, New York. So this is where, that was where the first Dallas BBQ was, and now I believe they have uh, eight or nine all around the area. Hey guys, like we said, it's not supposed to be your uh, traditional Southern barbecue. Obviously you can see we have the pulled pork sandwich, brisket and pulled pork with yellow rice here. Of course, you know, with the Caribbean influence here. We have uh, a set of baby back ribs, cornbread fries, and then you have your, your Hennessy wings right there. 
The best, the best. We're gonna we're gonna have fun, guys. We're gonna have Yo, fun. Those with are this. strip club wins. Yo, let's go in. You guys try your respective All right, wins, guys. I, I think it, it is important to know that this was only twelve ninety nine for baby back ribs, which is very very affordable. So of course, it's way cheaper than Mighty Quinn. The Mighty Quinn's is like Little Brother and J Cole. Uh, Dallas BBQ is like Petey Pablo. Hey. Yeah, baby back ribs from Dallas BBQ. Yo, straight up, straight up, guys. I am enjoying this brisket sandwich right now. I really like their sauce here at Dallas BBQ. Really tangy, really simple. I'm a fan. And you know what? You, you guys can't blame me for wanting this all the time because of the of their sauces. They're so good. And then you go to like Mighty Quinn's, which, which was exceptional, but there's no sauce. They don't even need sauce, their, their meat, you know? No, nah, I'm enjoying this brisket maybe more than Mighty Quinn's. This is my home right here at Dallas BBQ. Yeah. I love this place. These ribs are not really smoked, but they are grilled and they are tasty. So that's all I got to say. We give this brisket sandwich here at Dallas BBQ a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, baby back ribs, I'm gonna give them a three out of five here at Dallas BBQ. Yo, you guys know the vibes, five out of five Hennessy wings. Come get them, Dallas BBQs. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us on that episode of Fun Bros Food. We did Carolina BBQ in honor of J. Cole. J. Cole's signature shoe, the Puma RS Dreamer. Incredibly comfortable. Marco, you got the mids on. I've got to say, Andrew, uh, this is something that, um, you know, I don't know if everybody thinks about it. The heel to toe transition, for stepping into a jumper is incredible on this oh, yeah. due to the curved sort of like rocker motion. So I think that this is gonna be a great outdoor shoe. I'm excited to hoop in it for the summer. I can tell you this, not all hoop shoes are this comfortable just to wear out and walk around in. I can feel that the midsole is gonna give you so much pro foam cushioning. It's got great impact protection, guys. It's really stable and it's overall a super comfortable shoe. Hey guys, this neon colorway is out right now. So check out this website link down below, puma.com. You know what it is, man. Puma is making its name in the basketball sector. So I'm just really excited to see what else comes next. My dream to go to Mighty Quinn's. I know Andrew had been there. I had not been there today. So, hey, you hey. know, dreams can be big. They can yeah. be small. They can be micro, mid, macro. I accomplished one of my dreams today. I got to try everything at Mighty Quinn's. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Puma and the RS Dreamers. The Neon Pack is out right now. And let us know in the comments down below what your favorite barbecue spot is that you've ever been to. It could be anywhere in the world or the U.S. Just name it. Give it a shout out down below. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.